Hello everyone. Now today we are going to explain you how to use this Hey Connect application. <clears throat> First of all, you have to download the Hey Connect application from the Equation App Store, which you can find uh, through the Google search in a Google Chrome or browser. So once you found the Equation App Store, you can download the application Hey Connect for end user. So once you download, just install it, and then you have to register your account. Okay. Now to register your account, what you have to do? Uh, once you will open the application, it will ask you to log in to the application. But if you don't have account, what you have to do? You have to register. Here you can see. So you have to click on that, and then you have to select this agreement. You have to select your country code, and then you can register with email address as well as with your mobile app. So here you have to enter your email address, and here you have to enter your password. So once you will click here on the get security code, you will get a code on uh, through your email address. So you have to enter that code, and then you can register through your email address. So once you are done with the registration, the next step you have to log in into the app. So let's go back. Okay, now I already have registered through my mobile number. So I will log into that. Uh, once you will log into the application, uh, you will find a different screen uh, with the plus button to add a new device. As I already have some devices in my account, so I can see the devices which is already added to my account. So if you have some devices already added to your account, so if you want to add more device like a new NVR or new DVR, so what you have to do, you have to click on this plus button. So once you will click on this plus button, it will give you several options like scan QR code, manual adding, online device, add to favorite, share device. So if you want to scan the device, you have to go to the setting of NVR. So you can find the QR code, or on the back side of the NVR, or on the box of the NVR, you will find the QR code. So from the scan QR code op option, you have to scan the QR code, and automatically it will detect your device and then you can uh, follow the wizard and then that's it you will be having your nvr in the list so now i already have uh, my nvr and dvrs in the account so i will show you what other features this application offers so if you want to view the cameras what you have to do you have to simply click on the nvr or whatever device you have already added just you have to tap on the device it will bring the view of all the cameras so if you want to see the cameras in the view of four cameras so you have to select four now see the red circle the red square is on my one camera so if i click i will click on one so it will bring the view of that camera so if i will go to four it will bring the view of four cameras if i will click on nine it will bring the view of nine cameras if i will click 12 it will bring the view of 12 cameras so i have 10 cameras online and two cameras are not available so this is how you can see the camera in different uh, number of uh, screens. So now one more thing I want to show you. So once you open the camera, just double tap on that. So by default, it will bring the basic quality of cameras uh, like SD quality. If you want to see the high resolution picture, what you have to do, you have to click here on the basic and it will bring more option like HD quality. So HD quality will bring a high definition video. So now you can see the picture is more clear. Now if you want to see or directly some camera you want to access what you can do you can click on this more and directly you can click on the camera and you can view that camera. So directly you can view the camera. If you want to take a photo, so you have to click here. So it will capture the image. Or if you want to record the live video, then you have to click on this video button. So it will start recording and then it will stop. I will uh, record a video for some seconds. So what I have to do, I'll click here. It will start recording and start it. So once again I will press, it will stop the recording. 
So now the recording is uh, stored and it is saved here. So if I want to see my recording, I will go back. I will click on this picture and videos and I will get my video here. Now if you want to see the recording of any camera, <coughs> what you have to do, there are two ways to access the recording of any camera. So one option is just double click on the camera so it will open the camera and then from these three dots you can go to playback so you have to click here on the playback and then you have to select the date from here and this is the timeline this is the timeline from timeline you can slide and you can go to your required uh, recording time for example, I select a previous day, for example, 24. So the red dot means there is a recording available for these days. So let's see, I want to see the recording of 24. Now see, from midnight 12, it has brought the recording for me so I can slide to the timeline and I can see the recording time and then see you can see the blue blue timeline blue timeline mean there is a continuous recording for this time so the yellow mean there is a motion detection recording so this is how you can bring your recording for example you have found your recording and you want to record in your mobile some portion of the video so you have you can click here and then you can start a recording for some duration like for example 5 seconds 10 seconds and then you can stop it it will store in your picture and video folder so now one more thing uh, for example you have multiple nvrs or dvrs and you want to access their uh, important cameras at once see one option is that you have to go to each nvr or dvr and then you have to access the camera separately but from the favorite option you can create a favorite like I already have created the favorites here so you can create a favorites and then you can add a multiple cameras into that favorite what I, now I will show you how you can do that click on this plus sign and select add to favorite now select the cameras which camera you want to access for example I will select one camera this one and one camera this one and then I will close this NVR and then I will select another NVR and I will select one camera from here and then I will press OK. So I will name it my office. That's it. Now see I got my favorite shortcut here. So once I will tap on this my, my office shortcut, it will bring only those four cameras. So this way you can access quickly your important, important camera from the different NVR or DVR. So now one more thing I want to show you. Uh, for example, you want to rename the rename your cameras. So one option is that you can go to NVR and from there you can rename the cameras as well. And one option is from this NVR setting, you can go here and then here you will find linked cameras so from linked cameras you can go to each camera and you can change its name see if you will bring here your cursor and you can change the name so automatically it will change the name in the camera setting so you can see this same name on the camera screen See, if you notice the camera name also change here. So this is how you can change the name of camera. So now here is the notification icon. In notification icon you will get a notification if you have uh, set the alert for uh, motion detection. So all the notification you will get it here in the notification tab with the time of motion and then once you will click on that 
notification you can uh, get the recording as well so this is the important features of uh, hey connect application hope you like this video please subscribe